Welcome to another episode of Raw Therapy Video Tutorials. Today we will edit a picture of an old medieval building in the countryside. The day was partially cloudy and the light soft. Our goal is to pop the picture and improve the overall result. This can be done by improving contrast, using tone mapping, and graduated filter. First, we reset the exposure by pressing the reset the curve to linear in the tone curve. Next we press the auto levels button. We have to increase the exposure. However, now the upper part of the photo is much brighter than the bottom. To fix this we will use the graduated filter. Next, we switch the tone curve 1 from control cage to parametric. We increase the lights and the darks, but we also decrease the shadows. We can also use the highlight compression to reduce clipping. Our next step is to enable tone mapping. We have to reduce the strength slightly. We enable the vignette filter. We increase the strength to 1, and we leave other settings to default values. In the detail tab, we enable the contrast by detail levels. We slightly increase the sharpness. In the color tab, we increase the color temperature. We also enable the soft light filter, with default strength. The soft light filter enhances contrast and saturation. This is done by emulating the effect of blending an image, with a copy of itself. We do not want to touch any settings in the advanced tab. In the transform tab, we go to the lens geometry tool, and then to the distortion correction section. We press the automatic button. Note that your camera should have embedded the distortion correction information in the raw file. Most of the cameras support this functionality, but not all. Alternative, you must change the slider manually. You should also use the grid guide type from the crop tool as an indication. Our photo is now ready. You can find a link with the files in the description of the video.